On June 1st, 2012, one of our walking volunteers came upon a leatherback female sea turtle who was actually still nesting at 7.30 in the morning. Word went out up and down the beach, thanks to cell phones, and so many Amelia Island sea turtle volunteers, as well as some lucky tourists, were able to quietly observe her as she dug her nest, lay her eggs, and walk back into the water. We had an unusual amount of turtle nesting in the 2012 season, mostly loggerhead turtles, but the newest turtle species to be a more frequent visitor to our beaches is the leatherback turtle. In 2011, we had several crawls in one nest. This year, in 2012, we had dozens of crawls, 11 nests, five of which emerged and sent 293 hatchlings into the sea, hopefully one day to return to our beaches. The leatherback is named for its distinctive shell, which is a skeleton of a mosaic of small bones covered with thick, oily, leather-like skin with seven longitudinal ridges or keels. The skin is predominantly black with varying degrees of pale spotting and sometimes a pinkish tinge in the throat and shoulder skin of the female. The long, paddle-like, clawless limbs are black with white margins and pale spotting. After mating at sea, female animals come on beaches to lay their nests during nesting season. The nighttime ritual involves excavating a hole in the sand, depositing around 80 to 100 eggs, covering the nest, and leaving a large, disturbed area of sand that makes detection by predators and permitted sea turtle volunteers, difficult. And finally, returning to the sea. Adult females require narrow, sandy nesting beaches backed with vegetation, and they prefer beaches that have proximity to deep water and generally rough seas. Males remain in the water their whole lives. The leatherback is the largest deepest diving, and most migratory and wide-ranging of all sea turtles. The adult leatherback can reach 4 to 8 feet in length and ranges from 500 to 2,000 pounds in weight and is the largest reptile in the ocean. Hatchlings are predominantly black with white flipper margins and keels on the carapace. One in a thousand hatchlings will survive predation by crabs, birds, fish, etc. If they walk into the ocean on a beach, it's speculated that they imprint on that beach. And if they survive, they will return to the beach as, as an adult. Jellyfish are the main staple of their diet, the 
but they're also known to feed on sea urchins, squid, crustaceans, tunicates, fish, blue-green algae, and floating seaweed. Leatherback sea turtles do not technically have teeth, but have jagged cusps on their jaws to shred their prey. Their gullets are lined with hundreds of tiny, sharp, downward-pointing, bony spines that strip up their food and prevent their prey from escaping once swallowed. The track of the adult animal is made with a simultaneous pull of its extra long front flippers and their back flippers. Both the front and back flippers leave a mark on this extra wide track, which is very distinct, as is the track pattern. Leatherbacks like to walk in loops or circles and make huge nesting sites with many throw piles. Several permitted volunteers working for several hours have been foiled in finding their eggs so the next nest can be marked off and protected. With a little teamwork, sometimes we were more successful. On other research beaches in Florida, the monitored animals have their nests marked at night with a magnetic ball, which can be traced in the morning for marking. These reptilian relics are the only remaining representatives of a family of turtles that traces its evolutionary roots back more than a hundred million years. Once prevalent in every ocean except the Arctic and Antarctic, the leatherback population is rapidly declining in many parts of the world, due in part to human destruction of their habitats and food sources. We are working on making Amelia Island a place where they are protected and where they are welcomed.